Okay, well I have with me today Gerald and Rita Iverson. Um, Gerald uh, is, we think, one of the gurus of Simple Living. And so we're going to talk to him about his organisation, Simple Living Works. And then Rita, I understand, uh, makes jewellery. So we're going to talk to her about the jewellery that she makes. So uh, let's start with Gerald. Gerald, um, I think you've been involved in this for a number of years. So do you want to tell me a bit about what you're doing now and what you've done with this in the past as well? Well, Rita and I read Living More With Less in the early 80s, and that had a profound effect on us. And so I became the national coordinator of alternatives for simple living in 1995 and then after I retired in uh, 2008 um, the organization continued and more recently I've uh, picked it back up as simple living works and the intention is to extend the mission of alternatives but primarily on the internet so that 40 years of resources are all available free of charge on the internet and then I extend the mission by um, blogging oh, three or four times a week producing a number of podcasts each month sending out an email newsletter and uh, those kinds of things so um, living more with less is still around and we still believe in um, the five life standards of living more with less. Promote that through Simple Living Works. And what are those? <laughs> well, um, first of all, I'll tell you, if you'd like to see um, an extended video of my talk on the five life standards, that's available on YouTube. But for right now, they are, first of all, do justice not just think about or talk about justice, but do justice. Also, uh, nurture people, which is about relationships. Learn from the world community, which we happen to exercise through fair trade. And then also cherish the natural order, which is the environmental component of uh, voluntary simplicity. And finally, uh, non-conform oh, freely, really. which um, is not just about how you look like your dress and everything but I think it primarily is how we interact with media and how we're uh, influenced by media or not influenced by popular culture. Wow that's that's great I look forward to looking at the the longer video on that now I know in your podcasts you have uh, interviewed some very well-known people do you just want to mention some of the people you've interviewed? Yes, well, let's see. Tom and Christine Sun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but also uh, Vicki Robin, who wrote uh, Your Money or Your Life. And I've interviewed Christine. I'm sorry. Um, a number of other authors and have a number of others lined up to uh, talk. I have a list on my uh, website, simplelivingworks.org, which has a section called Champions of Simple Living. Mm. And mm -hmm. so I give information about them there and their pictures and then link to the interviews and the podcasts uh, from there. Cecile Andrews, I'm sorry Cecile, forgot your name temporarily. <laughs> so that was who I was trying to think of, yes. Well, and I think um, Shane Claiborne. Shane Claiborne and Tony Campolo did mm -hmm. an extended dialogue for us, which we produce as a DVD. And then I've just finished releasing that as an eight part podcast series called Tony and Shane Uncut. Oh, wonderful. The complete dialogue. And the DVD that we produced originally in 2007 has now been reissued by World Vision Canada as Choose Justice. Hmm, lovely. Wonderful. Okay, well let's shift to Rita then. Okay. And I was just learning, Rita, that you uh, love to make jewelry. I do. I've been making jewelry since I was probably 15, mm -hmm. back in the hippie era when you would take little tiny beads and you would make yourself a love necklace to wear <laughs> and pretend that you were a real hippie. So that's, and I'm 65 now, so I've been making them a very long time. 
And then I started making jewelry for friends when someone had a significant birthday, like 40 or 50, any birthday that ended with a zero. I would ask them what their favorite color was and make them a pair of earrings for their birthday. And then I started just giving away jewelry to people. And when I retired, I decided that was something that I wanted to do in my retirement because now I can actually work on my jewelry in the morning because I'm a lark and I get up in the morning is my most productive time. But when I was teaching public school for 32 years, that's when I was teaching. So I never had that work time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I understand you've developed a wonderful philosophy for your jewelry production. Well, it's kind of twofold. First of all, my philosophy is that um, jewelry is a beautiful thing and it brings happiness to people, not only for the moment, but sometimes it becomes heirloom jewelry that's passed on from generation to generation. But jewelry can be very expensive, so I try very hard to make my jewelry reasonably priced for everyone. So you can buy a pair of earrings for as little as $5, mm. and I try to not make anything more than $20. Mm. And so the mantra for my business is, my jewelry is light on your body and light on your budget. Lovely. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Very much in keeping with uh, simple living. Yes. yes. And, uh, and then uh, my future plans this year, this is the first year I'm going to be doing it at the end of 2014, I will look at the profits that I've made, and I'm looking at a number of um, organizations that specifically help young girls. Mm -hmm. And I'll be choosing one of those, and the majority of the profit from 2014 will be donated to that organization. Looking at specifically organizations that rescue girls from prostitution in India and, and Asia and that area. There are a number of women that are doing wonderful work in that area. Mm. And I'm concerned about that. Wonderful, wonderful. Anything else that you, uh, either one of you or both of you would like to add here? Well, I would say that probably it's easier for Gerald to be a simple liver than myself. <laughs> because um, his, our son, our second child said, dad is able to live in a cardboard box. <laughs> I personally am not comfortable with living in cardboard boxes, so my standards of simplicity are a little bit higher than my husband's. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still simple living. It is, yes. yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> and that's okay with me. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Uh -huh. um, appreciate your being here and delight to get to know you a bit. Thank you for hosting thank you. us.